Hey guys, my name is Yvette and welcome to my DIY channel and I hope that you guys are having a great day. So for today's video, I wanted to share with you guys how to make some really easy last minute air dry clay holiday gifts. So yeah, let's just get started. All right guys, so for our first air dry clay project, we're gonna be making an incense holder and for this project, I'm gonna be using Daz air dry clay. So grab some clay and roll it out and then I put the two little sticks on the side to make sure that I rolled this out to be a quarter of an inch thick. Next, I'm gonna use this old rectangular box to cut out a rectangle in my clay. It turned out to be a little wider than I wanted it to be, so I just trimmed off some clay off of the side. And now I'm just blending up the edges with a little bit of water on my fingers. I wanted this incense holder to be wavy, so I just found some random objects around my house to help me add the waves in. And then for this, I wanted the edges of the incense holder to be facing upwards. And whenever I see wavy incense holders like this, I always think that they're so simple, but they always look so elegant. Lastly, I'm taking an incense stick and I'm poking a hole where I want it to be placed. And then I just moved it around a little bit to make the hole a little bit bigger because the air dye clay does shrink and you don't want this hole to close up. And then yeah, just let this dry for about two days. Later. Okay guys, so here's our incense holder dry and now I'm just gonna sand it and then I'm gonna paint. For the paint, I'm gonna be using Vintage White by Folk Art, and then I'm gonna add in some baking soda so that I can give my project a faux ceramic look. I also wanted to give this a checkered look, so I just sketched in the best I could checkered print, and then I painted it in black. Lastly, I'm going to seal this with Deco Arts Matte Varnish and then just add in some incense sticks with this and this would make such a great holiday present. Okay guys, so for our next air dry clay project, we're going to be making a clay candle pot with the candle inside. So take a big chunk of clay and I'm using Jovi air dry clay for this and then roll it into a ball. And this doesn't have to be perfect, just as long as you don't have any like huge cracks in it, you're good. Now I'm just going to stick my finger into the middle of it and I'm going to do the pinch pot method and we're just going to make our little clay pot. And then yeah, just keep pinching the sides until you get your desired size. And I do like to keep the shape on the thicker side. Right here, I'm pressing my pot onto my mat to make the bottom flat. And then yeah, I like how this looks. I got these little rocks from outside because they had a lot of texture in them and I decided to go with the bigger one and I'm going to press this all around the clay to give this pot a really really rugged look. So this is how my pot ended up looking, which I really, really love. And I did decide to add some little legs to it. So I rolled out a coil of clay and I cut out three little chunks for the legs. And then I placed them on the pot where I wanted them to go. And then I took another small coil of clay, wrapped it around one of the legs, and I started to blend it in using a modeling tool. Mm -hmm. 
And then I did the same thing with the other legs and I wasn't too neat about this because I'm gonna take that rock again to give it like the same rugged look. Here, I'm just rounding out the little legs and then I'm making sure that this can properly stand up on its own and it does. So now I'm just gonna add that texture onto the little legs and yeah, that's pretty much it. You can just let this dry for about two days. A few moments later. Okay guys, so here's a little pot now that it's dry and I love how it turned out like so like boho rugged looking. I love stuff like this and I'm just gonna leave it this color because I really like it. I'm not gonna paint. Anyways, I'm gonna use some beeswax for my candle and so off camera, I melted this down. And then using one of these candle wicks, I'm gonna hot glue it into my candle pot. Now I'm pouring in my candle wax and then I did decide to add in some dried flowers for some decoration. Just make sure to trim the candle wick down and yeah, now we're done and this is such a cute little gift. Okay guys, so for our last air dry clay project, we're going to be making a cloud jewelry holder. Using a little rectangle, which is 3 by 5 inches, I'm going to place that on the bottom of the clay. And that's going to be where you can lay like the little necklaces on the jewelry holder down. And then for the top, I'm going to trace out a little cloud shape. Now that I like my cloud shape, I'm going to fully trace it out and I'm also going to make sure to trace out that rectangle on the bottom. And then I'm just going to blend out the edges with some water on my fingers. Using my needle tool, I'm going to poke holes all over the cloud and this is where we're going to be able to hang our earrings through. I took off that rectangular piece of paper and then I flipped the cloud over to the back and now I'm just going to fold that rectangular part on the bottom to make it twice as thick so that this has more weight on the front of it so that this cloud can stand up. I flipped my cloud back over to the front and then I'm just gonna set it how I want it to dry. So it's like the cloud part is standing up and the flat part is on the bottom. So this is how you want it to look and then I'm just gonna let this dry for a few days. One minute, 37 seconds later. Okay guys, so here's the little cloud now that it's dry and it can fully stand up on its own, which is great. So yeah, now I'm just gonna sand it and then I'm gonna paint. And I did decide to speckle this with some white paint and then with some dark brown paint. The last thing I'm gonna do is seal this with Deco Arts Triple Thick Gloss Glaze. And then just add some cute little earrings to this or a little necklace and this would make such a cute little holiday gift.
All right, guys, that's it for today's video. Thank you guys so much for watching. I hope that I gave you guys some ideas on stuff to make and subscribe for more DIYs and stay safe, stay healthy. Happy holidays, and I will see you guys in my next one. Bye.